6, where are you? I want to know. Region 6? Region 6. Because you've seen me in Region 6 lately and it's the same topic, but I hope we will uh, get some additional to what I've said. Uh, I, I, am, uh, I am given 15 minutes for this because a good thing is 15 or so. Kasi bubukas na po ito at oh, wala na tayong group. Well, uh, try to paspasa natin yung pong but Dr. Ho made my life easier. Kasi po, Region 6, you've seen a lot of that during my lecture, right? In Iloilo Regional Conference. Uh, so Dr. Ho made it easier for me because 50, I prepared actually 80 slides, that's impossible to do, but at least if we can if, if we had done, I was thinking I'd do 25 of those sooner or later, but 50 of those slides is like Dr. Ho's lecture. So we're not missing anything out of my 15 minutes now. So we'll be okay. So thank you, Dr. Ho, for that. Uh, because we also discussed RBGH, we also discussed uh, all those um, cancer-causing uh, uh, cancer causing, uh, who remembers the lecture of uh, Andre Loy? Andre Loy. Nandito po tayo, no? I want you to take note that Andre Loy's lecture, ang maganda doon, hindi na po niya nilagay yung controversial term na GMO, which was mentioned in the previous presentation ni Dr. Ho. Pinalitan niya lang, take note. The truth is, pinalitan lang hindi. It was changed to the term used is pesticide in the academy and in you know in the yung mga doctors do, 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 PhD dun sa uh, UPLB they use the term pesticide even for herbicides fungicides so dito po I'm sure marami po kayo alam niyo rin yun. but I just want to point out that the term of there that used by uh, Mr. Andre Loy of IFOAM was pesticide. But it, those findings were actually published by the FAO as GMOs. Okay, so let's let's go to food safety now. Uh, strictly, I think we will just deal with uh, food safety na lang muna na ano. So I'm Monique Tirona. Uh, uh, my credentials actually for being here for food safety is I'm a consumer rights advocate for the consumer rights for safe food Manila-based po. I do policy and legislation for the consumer rights for safe food. Uh, uh, I'm also uh, a member, I work under DA BAPS. Uh, I was given a special order for being a member of the National Committee for Official Accreditation of Organic Certifying Bodies and we audit certifying bodies, we accredit certifying bodies. Uh, okay, uh, rules muna. So I, I wanted to give you basic concepts of food safety. We'll do that. Uh, we'll see how it goes, okay? okay? Let's deal with food safety strictly. Refers to the assurance that food will not cause harm to the consumer when it is prepared or eaten according to its intended use. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is different. Uh, para lang, uh, who, are, who are farmers? I'd like to have hands of producers. Producers. Konti lang producers po natin. Alright, that's good. So we can, uh, okay, so the Food Safety Act would be good for you too. How about consumers? Ah, hindi producers. Traders. Traders, wala. Okay, so mostly some producers and some, and most of us, of course, all of us are consumers. So I'd like to introduce you to the Food Safety Act of 2013. The framework, it is a framework for implementing farm table food regulatory systems. This is the newest one. In addition to our organic act, uh, my job here is to correlate, orient you and correlate the food safety act with the organic act. Okay. Na, so this is this has been heard by the, uh, my good friends in Iloilo and Bacolod also during the regional. So I'd like to address this to everyone who had not seen it yet. So of course, uh, when we say uh, the Food Safety Act, it is it basically is about 
uh, protecting the public from unsanitary and wholesome misbranded or adulterated foods. Of course, obviously, that's what a food safety act would be. There are a few more things in it, but let's deal with the term unsanitary and also misbranded or adulterated. Adulterated is actually these things. The poisonous contains poisonous or deleterious substances, filthy, and packed or held under unsanitary conditions. And also, when the product is of a deceased animal, what do we call this? Bocha. Are you familiar with bocha? Yeah, the bocha. Uh, that's, that's under the Food Safety Act. It's punishable and regu the regulation of meat is under the Food Safety Act also in a big way. So placed in a container having poisonous or deleterious substances, intentionally subjected to radiation unless when accepted or regulated. Valuable content has been omitted, substituted, damaged, or made inferior. A substance has been added to this bulk, blah, 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 blah. Uses expired ingredients. Right? Uh, please uh, take note of my... Uh, my email later, uh, or you can uh, um, contact me through FB later, so, or the Secretariat of the NOAA, so we can provide you the PowerPoint. It would be good to have all your PowerPoint presentations of Dr. Hoss and, and the others also, right? And my presentation. Kasi ito, I will give you the entire 80 slides or so. Para lang mabasa niyo, basa lang, okay na eh. So, uh, this one, of course, you look for the Food Safety Act, okay? Uh, you should have a copy of being in the organic program, being in, interested in organic, you should have the Food Safety Act, copy and on. Because if you don't see it, we will not know what it, food safety really is. Organic Act, we would not know what is organic uh, production if we don't have the PNS. As if I, we say that it's organic, but for example, kailangan pala ng ganitong standard ng water. We need water that is potable in certain areas of the uh, farm. We can only see that in, syempre, dun lang sa PNS. Kasi we don't have the PNS. So that's always my reminder. Uh, it, it's not because I have a background in law and we always look for the document. But all of us, consumers, you get a consumer app. So you know your rights. So you know your organic definitions. So you know your food safety agencies. Kanino ba? Kanino ba ako tatakbo? Is it the DTI? Is it BAPS? Is it... Where will I go? So the only thing I would really like to encourage you is to get the original copy. You can Google it in the internet. There's always a copy in the internet. Download it, or DA has all the regulations. For example, subsidy. You did not have to ask all those questions. At kung may mali o may tama ang speaker natin, you will discover it by yourself at home, correct? We won't be here more than 15 minutes. Dr. Ho won't be here more than the, how long it took, right? But always Google and get a copy. Copy of the original. If, even if it's soft copy or not, that's the only way we can be good consumers, safe consumers, and concerned, talagang truly concerned producers. Right? Because hindi tayo pwede just listening to everybody we don't know if it's true. Andre Lloyd's PowerPoint contained the references. You check. Uy, it's different. It did not say pesticide. It said GMO. Right? But you would not know. But of course it's nice because if you said GMO, it's controversial. So it's easier to tell people. We tell everybody pesticides are ito effect. Which is true. It's really true. He was not lying because GMOs are considered, uh, the, the uh, no. What I'm saying is glyphosate. Yung glyphosate, di ba? Yung yung sinasabi na glyphosate has effects. And it's pesticide. So instead of saying GMOs using, you have to use glyphosate, then it will cost you something. What it means is pesticide na glyphosate, which is actually a herbicide, then it will cause cancer, the ADHD, the anger problems, blah, blah, blah. Right? So even if we don't learn anything much, you always have to read originals. 
Okay, scope of food safety, of course, there are, generally the books will tell you, there are three kinds of hazards in food safety. The physical, biological, chemical hazards, foreign objects, but physical hazards. Paper clean, buhok, hair. Uh, what else? My, may bato-bato, ang bigas. You eat at Jollibee and there's a stone in your eyes, that's physical hazard. So, anything that's not supposed to be there, biological hazards, pathogens, uh, microorganisms. When we say biological hazards, they are alive. They are in your food that's not supposed to be there, but they're alive. So, you call them toxins. So, don't mistake anything when you say toxins is alive. What, it, it's like something coming from a live organism. Uh, that sinisikrit niya o siya mismo toxic, right? Like the mushrooms, it's a, it's, it's a living or it's an organism na nagre-release siya ng substance and those are what you call toxins. But when you say toxic substances, those are the organic uh, na uh, minerals or uh, mga uh, well, chemicals. Chemicals that are, are, are not living organisms, okay? Uh, chemical hazards, tox toxic substances that are found Then I added nuclear hazards. Because in the food safety training that we will have, in formal food safety training, sasabihin nila there are three food safety hazards and then they act. Nuclear is there in some books, which is true. It, it should really be there. Okay, this is something new for a lot of people, but I, I asked for the producers because the producers would have to know this. This is really amazing because since we audit, the, we do witness audit of farms that, is, that are certified by NYSERT or OCCP at this point. Uh, at random farms, so farm nyo, like their farms, those farms they will ask, uh, but walang food bat papunta sa livestock, okay? Is that under the organic standards? Hindi, wala, no? So if you really read your standards, walang requirements organic na food bat, walang requirements organic na hinugasan mo yung pinanghalukan mo na pesticide, <laughs> pesticide. hinaluan mo ng folia like FFJ. Pero sa food safety standards, meron. Right? These are codes of practice that ensure that your food is safe uh, in so many ways. Let me, let's go to that now. Have you heard of these? GAP, GHP, and dami, no? I did not even include the ISO 2200, blah, blah, blah. Basic talk. So for us, it's beginner now, but I don't think you're all beginners. We know a lot already. They tell me, marami daw ako alam, pero sa totoo lang, I'm really also a beginner like everyone. But you know what? We should not call this a beginner. This is, this is not a beginner cluster. This is a cluster where we want to use and learn basics, di ba? Kasi sabi ko sa kanila, bakit beginner? Wala namang beginner talaga. Because we're we know organic, we know, you know, safety, we know health concerns, but we want to know the basics. So let's change it and let's call ourselves the basic, uh, uh, the interested in basics. Okay, so, uh, GAP, uh, let's read it para we know how to say it, right? GAP, GHP, GAHP, GAQP, GMP, CGMP, field GAP, as here GAP, global GAP. Have you heard of them? Who has heard of this? Who? Sino ang hindi pa nakarinig? Hindi, hindi nakarinig nito? Who has not heard? Because I will not let you anymore. I have 15. I have 5 minutes already pala. 5 minutes na lang. So, have you heard of these terms? Who has not heard? Okay pa. Okay? I want to hear. Okay pa. Okay? Okay. I love you too. <laughs> so, yeah, good agricultural practices. 
Uh, these are practices that address. Let's go for this, okay? Let's spend our time doing this because. Ano ba yung GMP? Parang hindi ko alam yung GMP. So ano ano na lang hindi magic. But this is it, okay? GAHP are good animal husbandry practices. This is uh, the the code of practice to ensure for farm workers and animals. So for livestock, poultry, this is the this is the code of practice. Okay. Uh, it includes the use of nandoon ay appropriate vaccines for animals, disinfection, proper clothing of personnel, and proper disposal of dead animals. This is what we look up. We look for it in the internet if you want to deal with these topics. Okay? This is how we do it. I will not teach you facts. I will not teach you anything today except the skill on how to get your own information. You get your information by always looking for the document. Okay? So, GAHP, meron yan. Kasi ang training yan, isang linggo. Hindi natin matatapos. But if you have the document, you can read it at home, right? You, you do that. Mag-collect, collect tayo ng ano, have an album of documents. GAQP. Good agricultural, agriculture, no, no. Aquaculture practices. Of course, this is for fish. Oh, covering farm operations, pre-production, production, harvesting, and post-harvest handling prior to transportation. GMP is the assurance system to ensure that products is consistently processed. So processing to. If you process anything, when is it already processed? Process means you already changed the nature of the, food, of the product. If it still rice, Pinalish mo lang, post-harvest pa lang yun. Hindi pa yun change. But if you, if you milk, if you uh, make it into flour, process na yun. Okay? So, for the balungay leaves, if you dry it and you powder it already, you cannot recognize it anymore as malungay, that is already processed. Okay, so now we go to the FDA to register. No more bags. But if it's the malunggay seed leaf, it's under DA. If it's malunggay leaf sold in the supermarket, it's still DA. Okay? So, uh, parking. Now, you know what? I remember food safety actually comes to mind because do you, do you notice the trend is now a lot more people buy in supermarkets. I've gone to Coronadal, Jensen recently, Bohol, and here. You know, uh, DA brings us around for, for the audits. Uh, have you noticed? We are in SMX. Ang dami yung bili ng gulay, SMX na. No? Parang gusto na ng... Uh, the study of SM's uh, marketing group uh, is that I'm, a, I'm from a consumer group, so we look at all these studies, we, we interview them, we write them letters to ask for facts. So one of their findings is that when I interview the personnel, is that there is a steady 5 to 25 percent yearly of the sales in produce in the supermarkets. That means more and more Filipinos are buying from supermarkets what they will cook. Unlike before, unlike my mom, unlike my lola. So, pero nakita mo, why will you buy there? Why? Is it just for convenience? Or they are saying in their analysis, it's because people have the perception, because they also market it, that it's safer. Hindi nila langaw ang longganisa. Diba? Hindi daw... Uh, the meats are cut hygienically. Hindi tad 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 and you eat the buto buto and that's physical hazard already. Yeah. So you know. So that means consumers and the public. The public is generally looking for food safety quality assurances. CGMP. CGMP is just actually I found out the same as. G GMP is the same. They just call it CGMP. The American uh, regulatory system call it CGMP. So that 
they will require you to go for the most up-to-date standard. Good manufacturing processes, by the way, are just like GAP, is very specific. If you are in mango production, you go for GAP for mangoes. Or if you're in, C in GMP, you look for GMP for uh, dried mangoes. You get up for mangoes. Ma uh, mango products. GMP for uh, for uh, herbal supplements. Okay? You look for GMP for specific processes. Uh, GHP, have you heard of this? This is seldom used, but the term is seldom used, but it is inside all of those gym, all those practices. GHP is the basic. All of those are embedded. The GHP is the basic. So if you want to go into any food safety certification, you use GHP first. Kasi ito lang yung washing of hands, uh, rinsing, sabon-sabon, the bathroom, the toilet. You, know, you go for this first so that your facilities will be clean. Okay. Hassle? Hassle? For two years, I've been saying hack up. Hindi pala siya hack up. Hassle? Hassle? <laughs> so, anyway. So, uh, so, this is the hazard analysis and critical control points system. So, uh, it is actually uh, where you do an analysis of your farm or your retailing area where you say, ah, dito, ano, production of, ah, dito planting, dito uh, harvesting, dito mo e-store, tapos kita transport, ganon. So, areas of your farm where you keep, for example, cabinet for ganyan, all of those, every time you transfer from one process to another, those, there are critical points in between. So if you if you pull your your carrot plants already harvest carrot plant after you harvest your carrot plant it is brought to the crate, iba usually crate yon o lalagay sa bacha o lalagay support dadalin sa dun mo na kung saan either storage or sa truck so in between something happens and brought to some place those are critical control points. Physical, physical transfer. Also, if you start doing something like boiling or putting in the refrigerator, those are also tatawid na siya from here to refrigerator, from here to boiling water. So those are the in between the transfer. There's a critical point. So that's what HACCP deals with. Nililista nila they all list down all the critical points. And then, after listening down the critical points, they see what the hazards are during this point. For example, refrigerating. Okay, refrigerating, you need a minimum temperature or else it will be dangerous. So, ganun. Pag boiling, ah, hindi mamatay ang germs pag hindi tama temperature, right? Seven principles, conduct the analysis, determine the critical points, then you see the credit. Medyo technical, di natin kaya with five minutes. Okay, this is where the real learning is supposed to be for my topic. Maraming nagagalit last year in my forum somewhere because they said, huwag ka na mag-food safety. Ayaw na nga namin ang certification, food safety pa. Kasi food safety, GMP, GHP, GAP, GAQP, May pesticide yan. So how do we reconcile that? Pag tama, that's the biggest uh, thing that we wonder about, right? Why are we even studying all these codes of practice? Organic di kailangan. You know, we really have to change our paradigm. Which, when we got the European consultant, teach us now, because BAPS, is actually shepherded by the EU. So, nakapuha tayo ng grant na the EU, in many ways, will help DA in its regulatory system. Para maintindihan natin, kasi we are an agricultural country, we are a manufacturing hub, we want to industrialize. 
but we are lagging behind in capacity. So one of the things that we got is an uh, EU uh, na ano na na grant na they bring in consultants for free, so that we will level up. Okay, one kind of leveling up is worldwide, pala. You know, belated din, no ko lang na-realize when I was also taught by them. Standard lagi ang food safety. Balik na tayo eh. Kaya nga, they were wondering. We are, I am in the organic program. So, everything is about certification, accreditation, nagpa-audit kami kung tama bang ginagawa ng OCCP, NICERT, at tama bang ginagawa ng inspector. You know what's funny? Mauna pala ang food safety kahit hindi ka pa organic or nag-organic ka. So you always have, number one, good hygienic practices. So that's the first document to get. Good hygienic. Ay, kailangan may hand washing lang. But, but, sabi sa akin nga, food safety codes of practice are basic. We always apply it except the provisions that says synthetic pesticides, synth chemical cleaning agents. Yun lang naman naalisin natin for organic eh. Right? We just remove, we just don't mind those provisions. But the principle is the same. Basic and food safety standards. Tapos, organic certification ka. Why? Kasi mas mahirap ang organic certification. Mas, may bayad. Okay, we got one. It's free. Good agricultural practices got free. Okay? Free. Who certifies got Regionals. The regions help out in the certification box will give you the DA. At basta under DA ang agriculture. So, the certification will come from DA. Ayan na, nakotapos na. Anyway, basta two things. I will tell you, don't get mad for knowing about GAP. Kasi GAP, basic siya. Itryin nyo kahit wag ka muna magpa-certify, but better you will get there. But kahit hindi ka muna magpa-certify for GAP, you try to implement GAP. That's always basic pala worldwide. If you're in manufacturing, basic ang GMP. Even hindi ka pa certified, ayaw mo magbayad sa DOH, okay lang. Unang document yon. Then after that, you're producing, malinis ang farm, walang masyadong pathogens, walang masyadong maduming microorganisms, ganyan. Then you go to organic because you don't have anong ayaw sa organic? Ano ayaw sa organic? Synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. Okay. We okay. I will. I will. Uh, yana. Okay. Basta this one. These are the documents you have to get. You may not know that there, we have many PNS for organic. PNS for organic agriculture, PNS for fertilizer, ito na lang, libro na lang, okay? Uh, you will see here, PNS 72003. Currently, we are using the booklet 2003, pero may 2016 akong sinulat. Why? Because, ano na, tapos na, hindi pala, we, we had to revise it twice uh, within the year. Kasi nag-ASEAN alignment na tayo. Okay? Nag-align na tayo sa ASEAN uh, organic standards. So, uh, ganito na more or less magiging tsura. It's not final yet. But we have 2016, hopefully, lalabas na. But for now, you use the 22003, yung booklet. But ikaw hindi, it's in the internet. Or in the, the box website. Uh, by the way, if you want anything from, for organic, you go to organic dot, basta i-google nyo, BAPS, okay? BAPS, DA.gov. Di ba usually DA.gov eh, no? DA.gov. BFAR, dot, DA, di ba basta kayo may DA.gov, uh, dot, PH, lagi. But, marami hindi nila makita because many people that emailed me and messaged me in Facebook, hindi nila makita. Kasi BAFS na ang BAFS, okay? It's not, if you Google it, what will come out? BAFPS. 
Wala na yung BAFPS, Bureau of Agricultural Fisheries Product Standards. Wala na yung product. B Bureau of Agricultural Fisheries Standards. Yung bago nilang website has no P. Nandun ang documents. You can download it even at midnight. Okay, so ito. Organic fertilizer, aquaculture, stand up. Ito, not too many people know this. There are two booklets for organic field rice. The first one is post-harvest and the others are packaging, etc., etc. Okay? So, ilan ang standards natin? Yeah. Alright. I have 30 seconds na daw. Kasi magbubukas na. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 1. Kasi dalawa yung sa baba. Ay, hindi. 1, 2, 3, 5 lang lahat. Have 5 files. 5 booklets. Okay. So, we want organic food, of course. Kasi sa lecture ko, I will tell you why organic food is safe get good. Ano ba ba? Wala na, closing na tayo. Basta, look at this. You remember the milk tea? Yes. The double durian candy? Yes. Okay. So, yun ang sanang gusto natin malaman. I, I really want to go into this. But, but at least Dr. Ho, I'm so happy Dr. Ho went for the rest of my lecture. So, okay na yun. Proxy ko na si Dr. Ho. But I just hope to see you. Buti na lang nga na paaga na rin tayo. It's okay. Because I was warned, we might not speak anymore kasi mauna na yung awarding. So, um, Region 2, anybody from Region 2? Region 2 kasi, magkakaroon na ng caravan for food safety. So, we will have more pro province per province in food safety. So, I hope you organize also for regions and for province. And then you just ask BAPS if you need any help in lecturers, etc. And then, marami kami. We will be able to teach you on farm or in... We'll, we'll be there. We'll be there at, even in a short notice. Okay? So,